Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan and Nick Fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. You want to know when the next video is going to drop? Hit the notification bell. All right, let's get into this video real quick, y'all. The New York Knicks knock off the Chicago Bulls, getting that revenge that we needed and well-deserved game that we need in the standings. But I'm going to talk about that a little late, later on in the video. Do the Knicks really want the second seed? But let's get into this game real quick, and it's going to be quick, this game, because I really want to talk about that second seed. I know all of y'all out there is happy about it, but I'm going to talk about it, and I'm going to tell you why I'm worried. All right, let's get into this re video real quick. New York Knicks knocking off the Chicago Bulls, 128 to 117. That first quarter, the Knicks came out, and they would not repeat the last time, the last game, excuse me. They wasn't going to make that mistake of coming out and falling flat on their face. Uh, came out Brunson had a quick nine points in that first quarter looked like he was on his way to another 50 point game if you ask me he was trying to get that 50 point game that's why he asked the challenge <laughs> it, was a, it was a stupid play to call a challenge for I just wanted to get this out there Brunson did not have to go to Tiz for that challenge because everybody seen that Dante foul um, Caruso so that was he wanted that point you, he was trying to get to that half a man, you know what I'm saying? But let's get let's get back into this game. Another spectacular night from Jalen Brunson. A lot of people are worried about can the New York Knicks make it far in the playoffs without Julius Randle. And we're going to get into that as well because, like I said, tonight's game was a revenge game for me, but it was also another game in the standings that the, that. The Knicks did need, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to dive into that because that the standings, I know, like I said, I'm going to get into it. But, you know, I'm really just want to jump into it. And then I'm going to get into Brunson, his spectacular night, and how he had help from Ananobi. And if that can continue, the New York Knicks, I think, will be all right. Uh, as you see the stats right here, the Knicks shot 55% from the field, 17 for 36 from downtown, free throws, 19 out of 20, only missing one from the line. They got to continue to hit their free throws in the last couple of games, and Knicks have been missing crucial free throws down the line. Even Jalen Brunson, some crucial free throws. Rebounds, they out rebounders, and just like last game, they out rebounders by 19 rebounds. Tonight, nine, not so bad, eight rebounds. Assists, the Knicks had 31 assists to their 20. We got to keep moving that ball, keep getting other people involved. If Jalen Brunson want to get the um, defense to loosen up on them, they wasn't throwing that many double teams at Brunson tonight, you know what I'm saying? And I was surprised by that, honestly. I was really surprised about that. We look at these stats real quick. You know, you see what they did. Like, I just broke it down. And the paint, three-pointers, free throws, rebounding, offensive assists. The Knicks had six steals, four blocks. They had five blocks. But that all came down. It didn't come down to it, but that fourth quarter, in my opinion, the Knicks just came out and they put the game away in the fourth quarter. They let the Bulls know that it was going, y'all not getting this game back. I know y'all in your house. Y'all trying to get that play in, play in advantage. The Knicks was not going to have it. You know what I'm saying? Brunson continued to look like the all-star that many people did not believe he was. A lot of people kept talking about the Knicks overpaid. Right now, it looked like the Knicks underpaid. They was talking about Luca and his next extension will be making something like 80 million, 80 million a year. And that got me wondering, like, how much more we gonna be willing to play Jalen Brunson? I mean, we're gonna have to pay this man some money when it comes time for his extension. All right. Now we go through them stats real quick. Look at how the fast break points. The Knicks have 14 to the 8. Comes the turnover. The Knicks only had 10 turnovers tonight, which is excellent. Points in the paint. They tossed, they scored 66 to our 54. Second chance points. They have 15 to our 7. Um, points of turnovers. Both of them had 13. Biggest lead was 17 points for the Knicks. Their biggest lead was 2. That was early in the game. Um, fouls. You know, Knicks have been taking care of their fouls lately. I mean, Ananobi got four fouls, uh, almost won four in the first half. Uh, they switched it over to Mitchell Robinson, and I thought Tibbs should have took him out right then and there, but he left him in. Then he got his fourth foul just before the halftime. He didn't start the third quarter. I thought it would have played make a difference, but it didn't. 
Hart came in, as we all know, he is the heart of this team. He continued to do what he do, even when he doesn't score that many points. He still get involved in every aspect of the game. And this is why this man is making $18 million a year. Yes, Hart, Josh Hart is making $18 million a year. All right, let's continue. Let's check out these stats now. When we get to the Eastern Conference and the way everything is going right now, you look at the, the um, standings, everybody's stacked up from the Heat on up to the New York Knicks, up to the Bucks. You know what I'm saying? If, if the Heat lose one more game, which I'm sorry, the City won tonight, beating um, Atlanta 117 to 111. But if they lose one more game, the Knicks would be locked in. They could fall no lower than the six seed. But let's talk about that Bucks and Boston game. I really, I'm not going to lie, you, I underestimated that game. I thought Boston, when it came out and took care of business against the Bucks, but they didn't. Bucks got a win tonight, beating Boston um, 104 to 91. So they got to move up one more spot. The Knicks got a win tonight. Orlando lost against. The Houston Rockets, uh, 118 to 106. Miami beat Atlanta, 117 to 111. As I just said, I hate repeating myself, but I'm going to. But it's all stacked up right there. But now, as I said earlier in the video, what got me worried is about who we want to play. Now, if the Knicks get the second to the two seed, which a lot of y'all is hoping, and like, yeah, Knicks get the two seed, I mean, it would be a great accomplishment for the team. But who will we play right now? If we get the two seed, looking at the Heat in the 76s right now, I know the play is about to jump off. So right now it's to be determined who they will play. But let's, let's just say if the Knicks had to play the 76ers, do you think the Knicks can beat them in the series? Especially way, I mean, our, our big men playing very well, but I'm looking at the mediocre big men that we have played in the last two games. Uh, talking about Porter, um, Portis. Um, I know a lot of people got respect for what's my man name in Milwaukee. Uh, the twin hit me in the comments because he's my Brooke, Brooke Lopez. And you know, again, Vukicic from Chicago, they were looking decent and they was getting away from our bigs and scoring. Y'all know B gonna be a beast, and not to say we didn't beat. If, um, 76ers we, with Embiid we did beat them hand them game up we beat them down actually just before Embiid got hurt I think he got hurt the very next game or a couple of games after that but I'm still worried about who we have to play or even the paces because if you look at the bottom list of this the Knicks pass a couple of teams we pass we jump past the Sixers Pacers Cavs Magics and I think that he you know he always been down there but these teams was playing very good basketball and I don't think we're going to meet the Cavs. I'm not thinking about the Pacers, but I'm just saying the way the play in is right now is three games left. It can still flop. You know what I'm saying? It, nothing is set in the stone. The Knicks got a couple of games that they could or expected to win, and that is the Brooklyn Nets, and we got another game against um, the Chicago Bulls after the um, Boston Celtics. So... I don't know, man. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Do we really want the number two seed? Hit me in the comments. Let me know. Or you know, do y'all want to fall back in the spot? Every, anything. I mean, I like us where we at number three, and we will see how that play in come in. And most likely, we. I would rather play the Hawks. Out of all them teams, I'm gonna be honest. Out of all them teams, I would like to play the Hawks. The Hawks gonna have to step up their game and do what they gotta do. But um. That Heat series will be, I know the NBA would, would really like to see the Knicks meet the Heat in the first round. That would really lead for some drama, some real drama. But um, I don't know. Knicks going into second position. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. They still on pace to finish my record, uh, 49 and 32. Some of the experts had them going 48 and 33. If they win tonight, they could be on possible end of the season on a 50-game win, winning season. So we'll see how that goes. But let's get ready to get by here. But before we get out here, let's just talk about Jalen Brunson real quick. 
The point, the game he had tonight, 45 points, 13 for 24, shooting 12 for 12 on the free throw line in 42 minutes. Continue to impress no matter what. What people want to say, this man is an all-star, and I don't understand how people say that the New York Knicks, well, I don't know, because I've seen this, you know, when he did what he did in the playoffs and Luka went down, everybody was surprised. I'm not going to say I knew he can do it, but the games that he came in and used to play the Knicks, he used to really hurt the Knicks, especially on defense and scoring. It's just that he was always playing behind Luka. I'm not going to say I knew this dude was this type of player because I'd be lying, but I knew he can be a real impact on an, on an offensive end. But I didn't know he can be this special. I mean, last night, this guy was looking, yo, when I say awesome, I mean, this guy was looking awesome last night. I mean, the things he was doing, it, it made, I'm not going to lie, the things that he was doing, for his size, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, you just can't really, you can't explain it. Like, how is this possible? You, they lock him up, they bottle him up, he shift his body, he throw his weight. Get the point. Get the foul. Sometimes he don't get the foul, let's be honest. But, and then, when, because he don't really show that much emotion, but when he get mad, he, he do it through scoring. Like, them two threes he came down in his hit, and then Caruso face, uh, cause I think, you know, was it white? He got knocked on the floor, which I thought was a foul, and he thought was a foul. I did, I really did. Um, come around and pick, I think before Drummond got hurt. And after that, he came down, just right in his face. You know what I'm saying? Hit him with the one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? Step to the side, three. Like block it if you can. You know what I'm saying? So. Brunson is a problem. You know what I'm saying? He's a problem, and he's going to be a problem to come. But like I said earlier, they're talking about Luka, and when his extension come, he's supposed to be expecting to make $80 million a year. How much are we going to play? How much are we going to pay Jalen Brunson? 50? Because he's playing like he wants $60 million a year. This guy, I got a video I did uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I asked, was Jalen Brunson the best Knicks player to ever play for the Knicks? And a lot of people started throwing a lot of names at me. And I, and I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, but let's, look, let's just look at what this guy doing. The closest person I can really put that ever played for the New York Knicks that scored the way he scored on a nightly basis and continue to do what he do is Bernard King, because Bernard King just, like, just light it up, you know what I'm saying? And I know we could talk about Bob McAdoo, but, you know, throw a couple of players out, out of there, out there. But Jalen Brunson, this, yo, this kid is electrifying. And the Knicks got lucky when they, you know what I'm saying, when they went out and got Jalen Brunson. I know we got hit with the tampering, I ain't want to bring it up, but y'all understand, this guy is going special, and this season could be special. I, I don't know. It could be special. I don't you know what I'm saying. We ain't get, not getting... I don't know, man. This season could be special. Now, let's move right along so we can get up out of here real quick. Let's remember, he's going to need help, and tonight he has some help from Ananobi. And if that continue... If Ananobi could continue to at least score 20 points and then have Dante doing what he do, because Dante going to come out and hit you. Hit, he's going to get his threes, you know what I'm saying? Get his, yo, hit them dunks tonight. But Ananobi was even more efficient than I, I than I thought he would be coming back from his in, that injury, the elbow. 24 points, 10 or 18 shooting, 4 for 6 from downtown, 35 minutes. Came out and did his thing. So I'm, I'm expecting... The New York Knicks, you know, to start giving him a little bit more minutes. And once the playoffs will get the going, we're going to see a totally different Ananobi. But Brunson got to get him the ball more. Sometimes he Ananobi be wide open and Brunson still forced that shot. And tonight, the first quarter, Ananobi came out and it seemed like he wanted to establish himself on offense because he done first few minutes, he was our points, our offense. He just came out. Got a little three off thing, came out with a nice little monster dunk. Then another three, you know, a little addition. But if he could continue to play the way that he played tonight, and especially 
we know we know we don't have to worry about him on defense because he just seemed to do all the little right things on defense and be in the right places. Sometimes he get a little over anxious on defense and pick up that silly foul. But let's be real. If this guy can continue to play the way he played tonight, even if he's not giving us 24 points, at least 15, 16 points, 17 points around that area, and Dante do what he do. And if, like I said, that fourth quarter, like Hartenstein picked it up a little bit, got us a points when we need it. Um, um, McBride stepped up. He had a little off game earlier in the half. You know, he was missing a few threes. and staying start, started off one for six early in the first half. But he started getting it going later on in the game. And that's what I like about McBride. He's going to do that. I mean, he's going to have them games where he looked like he's going to have a funky night. But he always seemed to somehow, in crunch time, get us the points when we need it. So this is another reason why I've, I really believe that that was the main reason why they traded Emmanuel quickly because they knew what they had in, in McBride. And as I said in my past videos, I have been a strong advocate for this kid. So I don't know. Like I said, we got Boston, and that's going to be a tough game in my opinion, especially they just lost to, to Milwaukee. They're going to probably be looking for some type of revenge, and they don't care who it is. They already got it. Then they might just start resting players even more, you know what I'm saying? Because they got a 15-game advantage over everybody. So they're not worried about nobody catching them. Um, that second seed looks sweet. Do we really want it? It's even If you look at it, even if we fall to three or four, I doubt four. I think the Knicks is about to end it. I said 39 and um, 32. They might in this um, if they beat Boston tom t tomorrow. I mean, excuse me, Friday. Then anything is possible. No, it's no, excuse me, Thursday. Let me know. I, I got mixed up. I'm a little mixed up on this video. But if they beat Boston, then I'm be honest. They should knock off the Bulls and the Nets and end this game in this season on a 50 game win. You know what I'm saying? If they can beat Boston, you know what I'm saying? We got the win we need it right now in front of the Chicago Bulls. If they would have knocked Chicago Bulls off last week, we would have been talking about maybe a possible 51 season. But um and we still been close to my um, pr pr um, prediction, and I'm not trying to just throw it all on my prediction, but you know, hey, I would like to be right, you know what I'm saying? But if they can get 50 wins, I'm all for it. And with that being said, I want everybody stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and peace.